Also on 7, the abortion battle heating up in the state capitol. A bill that would strictly limit the procedure in Florida getting an early green light. It's a green light. Planned Parenthood says it's the first step towards banning abortion in our state. 7's Robin Simmons with much more. 30 seconds per speaker on a very contentious issue. Reproductive freedom and LGBTQ rights share a foundation in ensuring freedom from governmental intrusion into our most intimate personal decision making. Politicians are not medical experts and our bodies should not be legislated upon. By 15 weeks gestation, an unborn baby's heart will have already beat 16 million times. This is the least we can do. Pass this 15 week abortion ban, please, for the sake of these five thousand children that we need to save. The abortion bill filed on the first day of the Florida special session debated in a House committee Wednesday. I think 15 weeks is plenty of time for a woman to know that she's pregnant. I believe that this bill seeks to strip people of their bodily autonomy and agency. The House and Senate bills would ban abortions in Florida after 15 weeks. Right now abortions are legal in Florida up to 24 weeks. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to rule on a similar statute from Mississippi this spring. I think recognizing that this is a baby and at 15 weeks those babies have eyelashes and eyebrows and fingers and all of those types of things. We want to make sure that we, if someone's going to make a determination, they make it early on in that decision, not later. Obstetrician Dr. Haywood Brown says 15 weeks can be a tricky time in a pregnancy. We still have a lot of women who don't seek care in the first trimester. There's still a lot of denial. Supporters say the bill isn't about a ban, but maternal health and fetal mortality. But it's something one Democrat says Republican legislators only supported once it was tied to abortion. So when we talk about maternal health, it is really interesting to me that it seems the only time we're concerned about children, especially black babies, is when we have a discussion about abortion. There are no exceptions for rape or incest, but the bill would allow an abortion with a diagnosis of fatal fetal abnormalities. But if you get only one doctor to sign off on that instead of two, I would say that they are not able to meet the terms of the statute as presented and would not be able to access an abortion at that time. 12 yeas and six nays, Mr. Chairman. The vote passing along party lines. This was just the first vote of five. The House and Senate each will have two more votes. If Governor Ron DeSantis approves, the new law would go into effect July 1st. In the Newsplex, Robin Simmons, Today in Florida.